You're unlovable. You're unlovable with, in your sin. This is unlovable kind of in my face. It's unlovable. But I endure it. I endure it because I know that you're in need of a Savior. You're in need of, of, of the love of God. I have the love of God. I give it to you today. The Bible says in Luke chapter 6, it says, Give and it will give to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken up, and ran over, poured into your bosom. Hey, don't go block me, man. I got God defending me, man. Who do you oh, got? Who you I got, got defending me, you? Myself and I. That's all you got. I got angels around me right now. You're Why not this angel? work? Where the fuck they at? Well, you can't see Where them, man. The you better watch out. Why? Better watch out. Why? I've seen. I've seen God defend me. I've seen God defend me. I got a defense. My defense is of God, who saves the upright in heart. God saves the upright. Are you? Are you a sinner? Or are you upright today? You gotta examine your heart. I came out here today because I love you. I don't, I don't want you to end up perishing. Look, the Bible says the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. I'm taking the kingdom by force. You guys are in bondage right now. You need someone to come in, break down the wall of your sin, and defeat that devil. The strong man, fully armed, his goods are in peace. When a stronger than he comes, he breaks down his trust and stronghold, and he divides his spoils. So I want you to retain the spoils with me. You need to retain your life. Right now, you're living in sin. You're eating the wrong kind of uh, spoils. You're getting the wages of unrighteousness. This is my place is not to save these people. You're lying. It's not biblical. It's my position. I'm a Christian. I'm the light of the world. Jesus said, this woman is confused about what the Bible says. It's not, I can't hear this part. This must turn aside to lies. Many of you are not good. You're wrong for us, which you have done. If I should declare them, speak of them, they can't be there. You hear that? Yeah? You're forgetting God. You're forgetting God. Go ahead, touch me. You're forgetting God, and there's none to deliver on that day. The word goes into your spirit. The word's not flesh. This generation, you can be saved. You don't have to be a heathen. I'm gay and I'm proud. When I got saved, I threw my television out. I threw my worldly music out. I, I turned my sin out. They didn't hear it. There's new people here. There's new people here. I study the word of God. I'm a believer of the word of God. That he's going to slay kings when he returns. He's going to slay rulers. The people who are ungodly, like President Obama, ex-President Obama, was an ungodly man. God's going to slay those people. They cause offenses. They change the laws that make homosexual marriage legal. They promote abortion. Oh, man, it's not pro-life. God is pro-life. Jesus is pro-life. He's not pro-abortion. He's not pro-woman's choice. It's not a woman's right to choose to kill the baby in the womb. No murderer will inherit the kingdom of God. That's sick right there. Murdering your baby. Supposed to be in the, ba in the womb, protected. And yet you, because you wanted to have sex, and you wanted to get pregnant, now you kill the baby in the womb, and you look for an excuse to do it. Folks, you're guilty. You need to, you need to fear God. You, you need to fear God, because God is going to come back, and he's going to destroy those wicked men miserably, the Bible says. God's going to destroy them. He's going to make speedy riddance of all who dwell on the earth. Don't be destroyed by God. Don't be the enemy of God because of pornography. You're a filthy man. You're a filthy man. Look at what comes out of your mouth, man. One curse word after another, man. Who's sick here? The one preaching Bible verses and warning my neighbor or speaking the F word? I don't have a life. I have eternal life. What is life, huh? Is life a party? Is life drunkenness? You think you have life because you're popular or in this college? That's not life. You're living in death. You're living in death. You're choosing death. You speak death. What comes out of your mouth is F words and you curse me. I'm blessing you. I am actually blessing you right now. I'm blessing you, trying to show you how far you've gotten from God. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Huh? Are you a worshiper of God? Do you know how to get to the eternal life? Tell me then. You're not a Jew. Jews don't, Jews don't use the F word. True Jews worship Jesus. True Jews worship Jesus. Jews don't say the F word and, and get upset at, at, at preaching about Jesus. You people are confused today. You don't know God. That's the problem. You're cut off from the vine, right? You know? 
You used to be in the vine, you know. You used to be, used to be a, a, that we had the oracles of God, but now, now you're 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 a, a illegitimate child of God. You're an ex-Jew, is what you are. You're an ex-Jew. You were a Jew. God, that's what the Bible says. I can prove. No, no, I can prove it to you. I can prove it to you. You're an ex-Jew. You're not a Jew now. You're an ex-Jew. I can tell you why. The Bible says so. You're an ex-Jew. The Bible says in Romans chapter 11, it says that God cut off the natural branches. He cut you off from the vine. You're cut off from the vine. The Bible says apart from Jesus, you can do nothing but come back to the Lord. For God will abundantly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. He shall abundantly pardon. God wants to pardon you. He wants to pardon you from your lesbian. You're, you're confused. You're, you're weird. You're just weird. You dress, you look weird. You, you see it, man? You see, here it is. You got people, they're, they're full of the flesh. Gluttons and wine bibbers, the Bible says. Do not mix with gluttons and wine bibbers. No, for the glutton and the drunkard will come to nothing, the Bible says. People that sit around and they munch on their potato chips, sucking down the Coronas, you know, watching pornography, playing video games. That's pretty much sums up, you know, college living, doesn't it? You know, but you guys are devoid of Jesus. You're not ready to meet Jesus. No, you're going to be dead when you die. You're going to be dead when you die. I don't die. You're saying something right now. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Jesus said, he said, whoever believes in me will never die. Will never die. Oh, man, you can try to do that. They will curse, but you will bless. I will bless, yes. My enemies, let them be clothed with shame. They're going to be clothed with shame, clothed with dishonor, because you guys are covered with shame. You're, you're covered in your sin. Your pornography is sin. You guys don't understand why we're here. Why are we here today? Why did I come today? I came here today to show you your need for Jesus, to tell you how, how much God loves you, but you don't love God. What is love, huh? Don't you think I love you? Don't, where's, don't you think my message is loving today? I want you to escape homosexual, you know, venereal diseases. That's love. I want you to escape liver cancer from drunkenness. That's love. I want you to escape getting used by that boy who lies to you and wants to sleep with you. That's love. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Love is the fulfillment of the law, young people. But you don't know love. You don't know the one who loves you. Jesus Christ wants to love you. Jesus Christ wants to show you the truth. That without him, you're nothing. Without him, you're lost. Oh, young people, you need Jesus Christ. You need to be converted and, and brought back to Jesus. Quit living in your false religion. Yeah, you know, you might, the Bible says you make your boast in the law. You, 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 know, you say that, that, that I, I'm, a, you know, I'm a Jew, I'm this or that. You, you're nothing. You're in need of forgiveness. You're in need of change, repentance. If you don't repent, you're going to perish. You're going to perish. You're going to perish like your banana that you sits on the, on the counter too long. You're going to perish without Jesus. That's what happens. That's what happens to a soul. The Bible says the soul that sins shall die. The soul that sins shall die. Are you sinning today? You're going to die. You're going to die. Just know it's a fair warning. The Bible says to warn every man. I don't want you to die. I want you to lose your soul. I come here to tell you to fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. The Bible says it's the whole duty of man. The whole, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. It's the whole duty of man. It's, it's your responsibility that we, you and I have. Because we're all going to stand before God and give an account. Why? Why do you love Barack Obama? Why do you love these, these evil things, huh? Why do you love these evil people? You know? It's fun. Look, the Bible says that Moses, when he became of age, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. It says, rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. Marijuana smoking, getting high, it'll leave you with, with a headache. It'll leave you feeling, you know, it'll be passing pleasure. That's why when people do drugs, they got to do more and more drugs because they don't get high like they used to at first. It's passing pleasures. That's why when you look at pornography, you start at one website and you start going to the, you go start with the blondes and then you go to the brunettes. You know, you got to go from one fantasy to another, you know, until you end up, you know, at the most wicked, vilest website, you know, that you never thought you'd ever be watching. 
You know, all these wicked scenarios. Isn't that what the pornography is like that you watch? Men cheating. They, oh, cheat, they cheating. Cheaters, you know? That's what you guys are into, isn't it? Yeah, it's a joke to you, man. You know, what happens? What do Satanists do? Huh? Should have I know. Actually, they, ki they kill people. They not to enforce they, your beliefs on other people. The Bible's the look, look. The Bible, you are enforcing your beliefs on other Should people. Should I? Read Should the I? Bible, it, is, it is all, it preaches love, it okay. preaches acceptance, okay. you are preaching Old Testament. Old Testament? Testament. I, 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 I've quoted only Old Testament to you right now? I don't know, I haven't read the shit, so. That's your problem, you're, you're making a judgment on something you don't know, you speak about things you don't know. What about you? You're speaking about you, 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 you don't, don't, Do you know what love is? You know what is love? Is what is love, okay? Is, is love? Love is love! If you're in a burning building, and, and I don't break into your house to save you, is that I don't love? Want you to save me. Shit, let me burn. If you're burning, no, you're not. You're going to be screaming for help. No. Not from you. If you're inside of a car and the, and the roof is crushed down, you're not going to be sitting there saying, let me get crushed in here. You're going to say, get the jaws of life and get the car open and no. save my life. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hypocrite. Because God is trying to save you and he sent me here. How am I a hypocrite? I'm not a lesbian. I'm not, I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a hypocrite. I don't practice those things I preach against. Now, don't, look, if, if I was in a burning building, I would want someone to come and save me. I'm not a hypocrite. You're the hypocrite. You're a hypocrite because when you're in trouble, you're going to call upon God and he's not going to help you. When God's going to say, I already sent my preacher to you and you said he wasn't loving. You don't think I'm loving. That's your problem. You don't know what love is. This is God's love for you right now. No, you, you, what, do you love your boyfriend? No, you don't. You lust after him. They, sodomites don't love their boyfriends and, 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 and lesbians or are girlfriends. Are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? I am, I am married. Happily married. I'm faithful to a woman. My wife is submissive to me. My wife is a submissive woman. She's submissive. Are you sure she's not a man? Oh but I die for my wife and I love my wife as Christ loves the church. If my wife were here right now, she'd rebuke you heathen women for the way you're acting right now. Rush is front. You guys are hedonistic. You're living Rush after the flesh. Shit. You guys want the flesh. You're fleshly. I'm spiritually minded. You see, I think about spiritual things because I know where you're headed right now in your flesh. Your flesh. Where the fuck am I heading then? The Bible says those who live at the flesh will die. Will die where? When? How? When? That's up to God. Okay. God could snatch you, snatch your life right out of you. He gave you life. Right? The Bible says in the book of Job, it says if God were to call together his spirit and his breath, all flesh would perish together. Man would return to dust. So you're not in control of your life. You you're, 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 breathing, you're breathing in God's air right now. And what if, what if all of a sudden God put you in a closet and filled it full of smoke? We've already been in the closet. You need to go back in the closet. We've already been in the closet. You need to go back into the closet and start praying to God. Because, because you need a prayer closet instead of a, 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 you know, your, your evil things. Why do they call coming out of the closet? Because, because you know what people do sin? They do it in secret. They do it in darkness. No, because we hide from people like you. Hide? I'm, you don't have nothing to hide from. I don't bite. I'm here to tell you how to get free from your, your, your closet lifestyle. You don't bite. You persecute. No, I'm persecuting. How am I persecuting you? I'm telling you, because you know what? The homosexuality causes diseases. I'm not persecuting you. It causes what disease? A straight man can get that too, buddy. Do your research. Okay, let me tell you the disease. The disease. The thing you got to be most worried about is what Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 19 says. you got to speed it up. It says his own uh, backslidings will rebuke him. You're going to be rebuked by your backslidings. Backsliding? Your backslidings. What is that? That's your, your, your turning from God. When you live in sin, have you ever felt conviction from the Holy Spirit? Have you ever no. felt God tell you what you're doing? You never felt guilty? No. No. I'm sure you have. You know why? But you're so hardened. You see, you, you know that you, you think I'm persecuting you because because there's a reason for you to be persecuted. No, there's not. Yes, there is. No, there's not. There is no reason. Then you'd have no concern about my message today. But you perceive it as being against you because I speak against your acts. You can tell me, hey, it's wrong for you to be a Christian to be a preacher, but I'm not convicted by that. I'm not persecuted by that. I am a preacher of Jesus Christ. Where's your church? Buddy? I've given you I am the church. You are the church. I am the church. If you're gonna be a Christian. Listen, if you're going to be a Christian, you're going to be just like me. Oh God. You're going to be you're going to stand against evil. But you guys agree with evil right now. You are agreeing with evil. These women over here saying they don't believe in God? That's sad. That's sad. Freedom of choice, buddy. Freedom of choice. Well, what happens when you die, huh? What happens when the books are open? Die. You don't even know what happens when you die. You read it. I do know. I I I almost died 7 years ago. How old is that book? You didn't die, did you? I came very close. You didn't die. 
Okay, I don't need to die to know. God revealed it to me. You don't know what happens after death. Yeah. Yes, it's a point on demand to die once and after this, the judgment. You know you're going to be judged, right? Good. Shit, judge me. Just, I have just, nothing to hide. I have nothing yeah, to hide. Yeah, you, you know what? I'm not here to judge. You're already judged. Then why are you here at all? Why are you here? I'm here to tell you that you're judged and that you're not ready to meet God because when you're then judged why by God, us if we already know well, you, you, she knows she's going to be judged. Then why won't you stop living in a way that's going to bring judgment upon you? Because homosexuality will bring judgment upon your life. You walk down a goddamn sidewalk and people are going to judge you. You learn not to care. Yeah, you're going to care when you need air. You're going to care when you need air, when you, when, you, when, you, when you need life. When I need life? Yes, you're going to need life, man. On the day of your death, you're going to need life. Why would I want to continue How much money would you spend if you had cancer to save your life, huh? Probably every penny you had. You'd probably spend every penny you had if you had cancer. But yeah, you don't understand that God is the one who gives life to the dead. You understand that God is the one who, who forgives sins? You're not going to forgive your own sins, are you? No. No, exactly. That's why you need Jesus. No. Yes, you're, not, you're, you're guilty right now. You're a guilty sinner. Why am I guilty? Because because you're living in sin. Because how? You don't think you're sinning right now? Because you can't have kids. Why can't I have you kids? You can't have kids because you're because you're loving a man and you're not loving a woman. There's adoption. Maybe if you got straight and she got straight and you both got saved, you can get married. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, why don't you guys why don't you guys get straight and, and, and have a family, huh? How about you get straight with your facts and then come back, okay? Hey, I, I'm I'm I know the word of God is true. You know the word of God yep. is true. Yep. It says you know marriage. Let me tell you this. Hebrews chapter 13. I don't care. How do you it know? says marriage is, is undefiled. The, be, the bed. Hey. Marriage is honorable. Marriage. Not between a man and a man. You know, it says, it says that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Wife, not not his husband, right? not his husband. You know she's not out going around right now, fucking other dudes, right? Uh, you know, be, because 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 what? Because my wife is a Christian. Oh, that means shit to me. So yeah, well, you don't understand the power of God. When I became a Christian, there, you know, I fear God, but you don't fear God, because that's why you live in sin. Because you why don't. Would I fear? Well, why would you fear? Yeah, you have something to fear if you're if you're about to go inside a volcano. <clears throat> yeah, if you're if you're up in a plane and it starts shaking, you're going to be fearing. Going down in that plane. How much more fear God who has power to destroy your soul in hell? No, You're going to go to hell, man. God. You're going to end up in hell. That's the bottom line. Shit, bring you there now. Yeah, you oh, can Lord. mock God now, but you'll be weeping and crying later. I don't cry. Sorry. Yeah, you'll be crying like a little girl, man. You'll be crying like a little girl. Well, if hell is full of people like me, it can't be that bad a place. No, actually, there'll be no conversation in hell. Why? Because you, your tongue will be cut out. The Bible Why? says I'm going to cut their tongues out, the Why? scripture says. Because, because, because there's going to be nothing good in hell. Why? Because that's, that's the just reward for your sin. Why? Because you repaid evil for good. God why? gave you life. He gave you the preacher today, and you're repaying me with unbelief. Why? I don't know why. I'm asking you that question. Why are you denying Jesus? Why? Why do you deny Jesus, huh? Why? Tell me why. Why not? Because you're teaching him that Jesus hates him. That's not promoting God. So you think that he's denying Jesus because of the way I'm preaching about Jesus? Is that true? Yes. Yes. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Come on, man. This guy's probably heard a thousand grace messages. He probably grew up in church knowing a lot of you people. And nothing's getting through to him. Nothing's getting through to him. You know, I went to church every Sunday, every Wednesday for youth group. I went to a perfect example. A Go ahead. Beautiful religious person. I am a religious person, but you know what? The way you are preaching is preaching intolerance and hate. You're religious? Yes, I am. That's your problem. Yeah, I'm dead. That's your problem. There's no such thing as religion in God's kingdom. It's a relationship. You are the problem. You are the problem. I mean, what makes somebody a Christian, huh? That you be religious? The problem? Does God want... Look, look. You know what the Bible says? What the Bible says? And as much as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but they have removed their hearts far from me. This woman has removed her heart from God. And she's not religious in, in, the way, in the way that God wants her to be religious. She's a hypocrite so now. you want us to be just like this? You, you know, it, it's one thing to be gay. Why it's, would we want to spread it's, hate like you do? Well, because you need to hate sin. The Bible says you will love the Lord, hate evil. What's wrong with hating sin, huh? You know, I, I, hate, I hate child molesters because they, 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 they hurt children. But I want them to be saved and be ex-child like molesters. I can, love, I can love a gay person when they're an ex-gay person. How does that That's work? not a gay person. They're, they're ex-gay person, exactly. So like you're I love you right now because I'm believing that one day you're going to become ex-gay. You're going to be ex-gay, folks. I don't think so. Man, is there, this gay population on this campus is growing, I see. It's growing. Yeah. And, and the judgment's going to grow. You know, God's been holding back the judgment on you young people. Bring it on. Because you don't know any better. Bring it on. 
You think you think it's my message that's turning you away from Jesus? Do you honestly believe that? Yes. It's not true. It's your sin that's turned you away from Jesus. Your sin has turned you away from Jesus. Your own sin is is defiling your mind and your body. Yes, it is. God, because God says it. Look, I'm I'm trying to save you with fear, hating the garment defiled by the flesh. I hate these short skirts, these short shorts, these low cut, you know, you know, cleavage showing. It's I. I, it's it's gonna be hot in hell. It's gonna be hot in hell. You're gonna wish you had some something to cover up with in hell, like a like a like a fireproof blanket or something. You're gonna wish you had a fireproof blanket in hell. You know? Oh, it's wicked, man. Yeah. You know? You know that's what this lesbian spirit promotes right here. Yeah, it's, it's it's a good thing. It's it's a good thing. It's a good thing you're not doing this on the day that the middle schoolers were here last week, huh? I know. You yeah, were. those poor kids, man. Yeah, I'm sick and twisted, and this woman here is the righteous one, right? Yeah, man. Woman's rights. Woman's rights. Woman's yeah, rights. Yeah. Filthy. Filthy. Do you know what God's hand is? Am I serious? Did you look over here? You should be rebuking these women for this. Absolutely not. Yeah, because you, you know, all you women out here. The Bible says you encourage yourselves in an evil matter. Why are you encouraging evil? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't take my shirt off around women. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Come on, man. Get the fuck out. 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 Demons come out. Demons come out. In the name of Jesus. Demons come out. Get out of these poor souls. Save these souls. You are full of demons. Demons get out. Lesbian demons get out. In the name of Jesus, flee away. You guys, you guys are in danger. You're following demons. You understand that? You know what is a demon, huh? When's the last time you got laid, buddy? Because it looks like I don't talk about my marriage bed. Yeah, that's what you guys talk about. You talk about all your sex partners, and you 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 you, you give what is holy to the dogs, man. The dogs. The I dogs. Yeah, you're the dog, man. I'm you need the dog. To, look, look. Are you the master? No, no, I'm a Christian. I'm not worthy to be called a Christian, but I am because of God's grace. How are you? I'm an ex-porn watcher. I'm an ex-porn watcher. Praise the Lord. A lot of you are looking at porn. Is there anybody on this campus that doesn't look at porn? Anybody? Porn is awesome. Not one hand yet. Is there anybody who does not look at porn on this campus? Anybody left here? Anybody? Not one. That's sad. That's sad. That saddens me. You know what, though? It, it, it proves to me that God sent me here because you're in need of change. You're in need of hope and change. You don't want to change. That's your problem. You're not, but you know what? You're not going to be happy with the end result, which is going to be judgment in hell. You don't think that's loving to warn somebody? It's not loving to warn you about hell? You guys are going to end up destroyed. You're going to end up, you know, you know, consumed by your perversions. You know, that's what that's why people they, they end up they end up doing all these these crimes, you know, and they end up stealing and they end up, you know, smoking and using drugs and they end up in prison because of things like 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 sexual immorality. But I love being gay. So you said you're a virgin. How are you gay? Yeah, you're not a virgin. You're probably a liar too. You're probably a liar too, right? Damn right. There it is. You know, lesbians are liars too. Right? Lesbians are lying to themselves. You're not a virgin. You know, you people are, are, are far from your virginity probably on this campus. If you are a virgin, you need to keep your virgin. And wait till you get married. I'm gay and I'm proud. Wait till you get married, freshman. Wait till you get married. I actually know a couple of pre freshmen that are married, so now what? What, men, men with men? And? Women with women? Okay. God doesn't honor that kind of marriage. Well, shit. It's not a marriage in God's eyes doesn't matter and actually the, matter? yeah it doesn't matter they're not married in God's eyes what makes your marriage so right and mine wrong because I'm doing it the way God says to do it who told you it's it's natural where what is your anus for huh is it for penetration or defecation Both. Both. no then why, why does it why did your anus lubricate then um, it does that's why they use lubrication right but a, but a woman's sex a woman's vagina naturally lubricates but a man's anus does not this is this is physiological 101 Physiological 101, buddy. You, you, your, 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 your butthole was not made for sex. You know? You people that, you know, you gotta understand. A woman, uh, her body parts complement a man's body parts and vice versa. Did you miss sex education? Did they not teach you these things? 
Oh, you know, I know what they're teaching you in high school. I know what they're teaching you. Animals are gay, right? Yeah, so, so, so all the more reason not to be gay, not to live like an animal. All the more reason not to be gay, to live like an animal. You went to high school? To living like an animal. You went to high school? Uh, yes, I went to high school. Uh, what does that matter right now? What did it go to? What high school did you go to? How's that gonna uh, How's that gonna ease your conscience? How's that gonna pacify if I tell you where I went to high school? <laughs> you don't think I went to high school? Hey, you guys can look for some sort of you know some sort of flaw in in, in my person, but it doesn't you matter. My 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 message is not from me. I don't. I'm not preaching myself. What are those? I, I don't care if you come to my 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 uh my church. I'm not here for your for your money. I'm not here for your money. I'm not here for for a pat on the back or a hug. Cause you say hugs are love. You say hugs are love, don't you? The huggies are diapers. Okay. Your hugs and your kisses on the cheek with all your gayness. It's not love. You know what Jesus said about love? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Are you keeping Jesus' commandments? Do you even know what Jesus' commandments are? Oh, there's ten of them, right? Get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Get you know, there's ten of them. You must have went to, you went to uh, Catholic catechism or something, huh? I'm missing a couple, right? Yeah, you went to, you went to. Yeah, there's like ten. A ten, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, that's right. What else? Um, get the fuck out. Get the yeah, fuck that's out. that's another one. Alright, so all of them add up to get the fuck out. Hey man, when everybody repents and gives their life to Jesus, then I'll leave. But you know what, right now, I, I sense that you guys are in need of some more scriptures. You guys are in need of some scriptures. You know, what did Jesus, Jesus said, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose their soul? What would it profit you to gain this whole world and then lose your soul? Because that's what you're going to lose. Yell at these people. It's preaching. They're not. Every one of them is looking right at me. Bro, you're literally the laughing suck of FTC. I'm pretty sure they're looking at the, the Bible says that's good. The Bible says, blessed are you when men hate you, when they revile you, when they say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. You're the offscoring filth of this world. I get concerned. I get concerned when people start, I start blending in with the gays and I start blending in with the false religious people. I get concerned when you start thinking I'm like you. If you start thinking I'm like you and you're sin, that's when I get concerned. So you're I'm different. I am different. I'm a sojourner. So you're different. You're different, but you're with them. I, I can tell. Yes, you are. You're with their spirit. No. no. Then how do we reach them? By just being quiet. No. Do you and speak? Do you indeed speak righteousness, you silent ones? Do you do you do you judge uprightly, you sons of men? No. In the heart you work wickedness. You weigh up the violence of your hands in the earth. Psalm 58 says. Start speaking the truth and be an example. Quit being a hypocrite. Quit being lukewarm. Quit being a friend of the world, enemy of God. You're a friend of the world, you're the enemy of God. I want to be a friend of God, an enemy of this world. That you might come out from among them and be separate, young lady. You're not separate from the world right now. Bro, you have kids? Yes. Really? Because you're coming up against the word of God. Hey, they're preaching. You hey, you have kids? Know I know you're against me. Yeah. You're against the preaching. I'm you're against me. Who was the first preacher of hey. preachers? Hey. Jesus hey. Christ. He is the preacher of preachers. Hey. Well, he's before Moses. Hey. Jesus Christ was in the beginning with God. He is the spirit of the prophets, young lady. And you're denying the spirit of the prophets when you say you're a Christian. And you want me to stop preaching? No, I don't want to stop preaching. Buddy, I know. I'm telling them that they're condemned. Do you know what the word... Oh, hold on a minute. You said two different things there. You want me to stop yelling. But the word preach in the Greek is the word caruso. It means to herald, to lift up your voice, to publicly proclaim. So I can't like stop this? preaching. Am I doing preaching, right? preaching is yelling. Right? If you were saying some Bible scriptures, you might be preaching. No. But you're not allowed to Bible because you're a not doer. Do I'm not gay. I'm not living in sin anymore. Praise the Lord. Okay. Are you a sinner? Are you a sinner? Yeah. Well, then you can't be a Christian. Yeah, all happen. How can you be a sinner and be a Christian? They're exactly the same. They're the same thing. A sinner is a Christian? What, what, who's teaching you this? Who taught you that? No, you we all Christians do not sin like wicked people. No, there's no way. Like wicked people? You literally called your wife submissive. I used to be wicked. I used to be a sinner. I used to be a masturbator, fornicator, pill popper, weed smoker. I was a drunkard. I was a partier. When I became a Christian, the old passed away. The all became new. The Bible says in Psalms 109 or 119, it says, I have refrained my feet from every... 119 verse 101. Look it up for yourself. It says, I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep your commandments. You know, look, the Bible says the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. 
I'm taking the kingdom by force. You guys are in bondage right now. You need someone to come in, break down the wall of your sin, and defeat that devil. The strong man, fully armed, his goods are in peace. When a stronger than he comes, he breaks down his trust the stronghold, and he divides his spoils. So I want you to retain the spoils with me. You need to retain your life. Right now, you're living in sin. You're eating the wrong kind of uh, spoils. You're getting the wages of unrighteousness. This is my place is not to save these people. You're lying. It's not biblical. It's my position. I'm a Christian. I'm the light of the world. Jesus said, this woman is confused about what the Bible says. It's not, I can't hear this part. Look, it's my position. It is my position to come out here to put a light to you. A light of salvation. This woman says, she says she's a Christian. She's saying, it's not my position to come and save you. The Bible says, Jesus said in Matthew 5, he said, a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Believe what you want. Believe what you want. I don't want you to get wrapped up in all your sins. You tell, you tell me that's judgmental? It's ju you know the people who, people who say that they're freaking judgmental are people who are judged. They're living in judgment. I'm judging because I'm a spiritual man. I judge all things. The Bible says that in 1 Corinthians 2.15. No, no, the Bible said, who's got a Bible out here? Somebody prove and show that you got, you need to open your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. It says, a spiritual man judges all things. I am a spiritual man. I can judge you. I'm not here to condemn you. You're condemned already in your sin. That's what the Bible says, woman. That's the Bible says, if you don't believe, if you believe, you're not condemned. But if you do not believe, you're condemned already. Jesus said in John chapter 3. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean they don't have a chance to be saved. It means that in their sinful condition today, that they are walking in condemnation. In your pornography and in your homosexuality, you are walking in judgment today. And today you are condemned. It is as if you are already condemned if today if you don't repent. Sure, what's your question? I'm a born again Christian. Are you I am a messenger. I am here, I am here to see you, young woman, escape from judgment. Because on the day when you die, I, if you don't like how I'm judging, you are not going to like the way God judges you on the way of just day of judgment. Because on the day of judgment, there's not going to be any second, third chances that you guys have today. What is this? Anybody who's alive has hope. You have hope right now, but when you die, oh man. What is this? Oh man. What is this? You see, you're agreeing with this. Sleeping around, aren't you? You're doing these things. Smoking the weed. Smoking the gun. No, I broke a God's commandments, but I'm an example of God's forgiveness. Now, when I got touched by God, I fear God through my television now. God touched my heart. He caused me to repent. He led me to the cross. The cross is what you need. You don't have the cross. You, what you have right now is you have a, 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 whole, a whole bag full of, of demons. Yeah, a demon. You have a curse of demon. Does God want you to flip me off? Does God lead you to do that? Did God tell you to cuss me out? Am I cussing you out? Am I here blaspheming you and cussing you? No, I'm trying to tell you how to get saved. You guys, you guys are in danger of the judgment. You think my judgment is bad? You need to read the Bible. What's your question? Folks, a condom, there's no condom for your sin. There's no condom for the day of judgment. There's no protection for the on the day of judgment except the blood of Jesus. I know you want to touch it. Come on, man. Think of a good question. Don't, 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 don't give me your banter. I'm giving you biblical answers. I'm giving biblical answers for your questions. You guys need the Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. The Word of God. When's the last time you read your Bible? Huh? When's the last time you, you know, read that Bible? That's the question. You know? It says you want to obey your lust. You're obeying your perversions. You're obeying sin. The Bible says you sin is a slave of sin. Your sin is not a slave to you. You're a slave to your sin. The Bible says that the wicked man is caught in the cords of his sin. I'll get a little closer to you. You guys need to hear this. A wicked are caught in the cords of their sin. You're caught in the cords of your sin. You're in your sin today. You need to be released by the blood of Jesus. The blood of the Son there is no mission for your sins. Jesus Christ can deliver you from masturbation, deliver you from pornography, 
The Bible says, as I waited patiently for the Lord, he inclined his ear to me. He heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock. And the says, Many fear and fear and will put their trust in the Lord. Pleasant is the man for his trust. Do not be fair to power, but so as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, I give out your word of works which you have done. If I should declare them, speak of them, they really can't be there. and your truth. Oh Lord, oh Lord, do not withhold your tender mercies from me. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For a new evil surround me. A new evil surround me. My sins, they overtake me. They go over my head. They're more than the hairs of my head. I cannot look up. Such as love your salvation, say continually, let the Lord be magnified. But I am poor and need upon me. You are my help, my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. Don't delay. You don't want God to tarry when you help. The Bible says, God, it says, it says, do not. broken. You need to get low before God. Humble yourself before the mighty head of God that he may lift you up. Because if you stand your pride, God resists the proud. He gives grace to the humble. Why won't you call to God in the day of trouble? He will deliver you and you shall glorify him. Oh, Altogether, like you, but God will rebuke you. Instead of the word before your eyes, instead of this, you who forget God, let's come and tear you into pieces, and there be none to deliver. You hear that? Yeah? You're forgetting God. You're forgetting God. Go ahead, touch me. You're forgetting God, and there's none to deliver on that day. You can hear it. The word goes into your spirit. The word's not flesh. The word that I'm speaking is in your spirit. You can hear my you can hear my heart in this in Psalm chapter fifty. Don't forget God. You forgot in God. You said that you were a Christian, but you became a lesbian. You forgot in God. God's gonna come on that day. God's gonna come. God's gonna come. He's gonna return. The day is gonna be up. The time is up. The day is at hand. You need to you need to return to the Lord. God says return to God. He will return to you. you he will sweating? abundantly pardon. Why are you sweating? So I'm talking about my heart to you, you young. Why are you persecuting me? I, I didn't go to the You can hear Hey, man. You need Jesus. My shirt says, This is the love of God that keeps the commandments. Yeah. Am I not loving God at all? Am I not loving you right now? No. What, what's evil about what I'm doing? Huh? People worldwide? Don't miss the evil that I have today. Buddy, I've got it. 
What have I done that's evil today, huh? Huh? What have I done that's evil today? What have I done that's wrong? I preaching by having passion by the morning of your witness? Go ahead, what's your question? Okay. God is perfect, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And he creates us in God, his image. Yeah. God hates gays, right? Uh, he, the Bible says he hates all workers of iniquity. Okay, and he made people. Yes. And some people are gay. Yes. So how can he be powerful and free people? God does hate all workers of iniquity. The question is, obviously, he still loves, loves the Son. And so, therefore, he loves, uh, you know, all the world. That's the love of the world. But, the, but you're not loving God in return. So there's going to come a day when God's hatred will overtake the love that you have right now available to you. We have love available through Jesus Christ. You're unlovable. You're unlovable with, in your sin. This is unlovable. It's kind of in my face. It's unlovable. But I endure it. I endure it because I know that you're in need of a Savior. You're in need of, of, of the love of God. I have the love of God. I give it to you today. The Bible says in Luke chapter 6, it says, Give and it will give to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken up, and ran over, poured into your bosom. Hey, don't come the block me, man. I got God defending me, man. Who do you oh, got? Who do you got, got defending me, you? Myself and I. That's all you got. I got angels around me right now. You're Why not this angel? work? Where the fuck they at? And you can't see Where them, man. The fuck they you better watch out. Why? Better watch out. I've seen, I've seen God defend me. I've seen God defend me. I got a defense. My defense is of God who saves the upright in heart. God saves the upright. Are you are you a sinner? Or are you upright today? You gotta examine your heart. I came out here today because I love you. I don't, I don't want you to end up perishing. I don't want you to end up perishing. The Bible says, if you do not repent, you will all likewise perish. Everyone's going to perish here if they don't repent. How do you repent? Do you stay gay if you repent? Do you stay watching pornography if you repent? No. No. The Bible says, godly sorrow brings about repentance unto salvation. Salvation. You know, you know why am I here today? Why am I here? I want to see you get saved. I want to see you... Hey, hey, you guys are broke, man. I'm not going to get any money off of you guys. You guys are broke, man. You guys, you guys are full time. I'm here for you, and I care for you, and I want you to have an opportunity. Ah, who else cares for you? Your friends don't care for you. They're using you. Yeah, I remember when I was in college, man. They bite and devour one another, the Bible says. They bite and devour one another. Ah, ah, ah. They're trying to they're trying to use each other. You guys are gonna be devoured by one another in your perversions. I think we all care about each other. No, 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 no. That's why you have multiple sex partners. If you really cared about each other, then you wouldn't need multiple sex partners and multiple parties. Are you married? Are you married? You need you need the friend that's this closer than a brother. The friend that's closer with Jesus. Christ. The Bible says he is the bridegroom, we are the bride. Oh, the Bible says, says he came to prepare for himself a spotless land. Yeah, he's the bridegroom. He's like the first bride. We're, we're the weaker of the two. He's the strong bridegroom. See, the woman is the weaker vessel. And women are taking over this world now, it seems like. What? What did you just say? How much can you bench, huh? How much can you bench? You're not the stronger vessel. Men are supposed to be the, 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 the leader of the house. Now we got women trying to do man's job, men being like the women, girly men. There's a lot of girly men out there. I see them walking around here, not willing to stand up for truth. A real Psalms chapter 94, 60 will stand for me against the evil doors. They will rise for me against the workers of the week. I uh, myself, this young man, he's deceived, he's young, he's probably a freshman trying to get attention from all girls. Sophomore. Sophomore, yeah, close, close. But you need, you need the wrong kind of attention right now, folks. Oh, no, I'm loving it. You guys don't understand. You need to get God's attention. How do you get God's attention? How, the Bible says... I have a really loud microphone. I you. <laughs> Mike, you know what I mean? You get God's attention? <laughs> Just don't block me. Look, how do you get God's attention? The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, it says, The eyes of the Lord go to and fro the whole earth, seeking a heart that is wholly His to show Himself strong on their behalf. Yo, know, when someone's hard to give to Jesus, God is himself strong. I've been delivered, right? I for seven years ago at age 30. I should be dead. I was addicted to the pornography. I was addicted to marijuana. Marijuana's not a miracle. I remember I was the devil. You guys are smoking marijuana. You're following the devil. Sorcery. You guys think it helps. God helps 
cancer. Or, no, it doesn't help. Nothing. You're putting you're putting all your lungs. You're, you're killing your brain cells. Oh man, I hope God will restore those things to you. You know, when I quit smoking cigarette back in 2001, I praise God because I can breathe. I can breathe. And all that money I saved, man. You know how much money? You, you got a calculator? Let me know how much six dollars a day for for 16 years. How much money I've saved? Oh man. Oh man, I got money in the bank now. But you guys are spending your money on your sin. You guys are guzzling the alcohol, guzzling the, the, the liquor. You don't drink so much, you're what, Libyan? I thought this girl she was your girlfriend. But you have a terrible mouth. You have a terrible mouth. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, there's kids out here. Watch your mouth, there's kids out here. No, 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 let me even use the language. That's not ladylike. That's not ladylike. That's not ladylike. Who's a lady out here? Is there a lady out here? Are you laying out here? Don't say the F bomb. Is the C word? Come on, that's not very motherly. That's not very motherly. How are you going to teach your kids if you're going to be using that kind of language? You're not ready to be a mom. You're not ready to be a responsible human. You're a sinner. You're a sinner. I was like you, though. Hey, look, I have great hope for you guys because I was just like you. I, somebody came to me when I was in sin. Check this out. In 2001, there was a young man. He came when I was in line to go to the bar. I was smoking weed, doing cocaine. I was cocaine monger. You guys love the cocoa. You guys. Yeah, I did love me. I lost 60 pounds and, 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 and lost my job and, and ended up almost with uh, heart, you know, over, overdosing from cocaine. But you know what? This guy came to me. So I almost did it. Drugs, drugs kill people. Drugs will kill you. That's why heroin is so dangerous, right? Heroin kills people. Heroin kills people. God will kill people. God will kill people in their sin. Fear God. You know, you know so I'm in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in sin. In college at Michigan State University, living in sin, and I, I thought that I was a Christian. I thought that I was a Christian.